Hey everybody, Ben here, and welcome back to Medium of Mixology, the monthly web show where I teach you how to make some new and interesting cocktails. Well, this month we've got something well, a little bit different with a new ingredient. Uh, this is the Blue Lady. The equipment for the Blue Lady is going to be a shaker and a strainer, and a cocktail glass that's being chilled with our ice. Ingredients today are gin, hypnotic, which is a very interesting uh, liqueur. It's a little bit of vodka and a little bit of cognac with sort of what they call tropical and exotic fruits. It kind of tastes like pineapple and grapefruit juice a little bit. And we're also going to need a little bit of sweet and sour. So we'll take our glass and the ice, dump that into our shaker. Set the glass aside for now, and we'll get a uh, measuring device to mention that before. And we're going to use two ounces of our hypnotic. Most of the recipes I've seen hypnotic used in and have tried this in have used about two ounces of it, so it seems to be a pretty uh, standard you know, amount for this stuff. Runs about 17% uh, alcohol by volume. We're going to want half an ounce of gin and an ounce and a half of our sweet and sour. Now, my sweet and sour I actually make myself with uh, lemon juice, lime juice, and simple syrup. Very easy to do. And uh, an ounce and a half of that. You just check out a recipe online for that. Just probably search sweet and sour recipe. You can find one. Now we're going to go ahead and give this guy a shake. I'm going to go ahead and bring our glass back. Tip off that glass so it doesn't drip. And we'll strain that into our prepared glass. And there you have a blue lady. So our blue lady is a much lighter blue than uh, I was sort of expecting. I guess with, once you shake that hypnotic as well as the sweet and sour kind of foams it up a little bit on top. Definitely has a little bit of a sort of feminine feel to it. Well, if you know what hypnotic smells like, it smells like hypnotic. Um, if you don't, it's sort of a, a little bit like grapefruit juice, only with more of a citrus s scent, I guess. Let's go ahead and give it a try. That's pretty good. Now, of all the th things so far that I've tried with Hypnotic, I haven't really cared for. This mixes really, really well with sweet and sour. Uh, it's sort of a, it's definitely sort of a light and sweet taste. But there is that little bit of a bite there. It starts very, very sweet. And then by the time it hits the back of your throat, you get that more of that uh, fruity, hypnotic taste to it. And right there at the end, before the flavors sort of disappear, you get that little bit of uh, gin sort of underneath. It's really quite good. I was kind of afraid that this might need bitters to kind of really kind of cut down on the, the taste of, and the power that the hypnotic usually brings, but they kind of really mellow out together. Really, really nice. There is a definite alcohol taste in this, so I'm going to give that about a 6.5 out of 10 on the alcohol rating. And overall, I'd probably make this again, so this is probably going to be about an 8 out of 10 uh, on the, uh, the overall scale. So really, it's presented well, it's clean, it looks really nice. And depending on who you're serving this to, this could be a great starter or even a great finisher. So if you happen to make the Blue Lady for yourself, let me know what you think of it in the comments below. 
This is Ben from Medium of Mixology and please drink responsibly.